Okay, here's a quick video on how the trip reset works for the odometer on the 944. The thing to look at is right down in there, between the white one and the black one. It's true on these other gears as well, but you can see it on the white one when I move this. Look at that little hub in the middle. It's an eccentric hub, so it's kind of moving around in an oblong kind of way. That's important because that's how this little mechanical device resets the trip meter. You can see that there's these little arms that slide, that one in particular you can see, and they slide down in between the gears. See it right there. So when the solenoid pulls on this mechanism, those little arms, you can see starting to go down now, push on those eccentrics and when they push all the way down it forces the gears to the zero in front so here's my uh, bench speedometer i took the face plate off the speedometer so you can see the solenoid in action and i added a reset button for the trip meter down here so you can see how it works where this solenoid gets pulled down to reset the numbers. See how it pulls it down? But the other thing to note is that when the solenoid is activated and it pulls this down, sorry, when it pulls that down, it decouples all of the gear set from the trip meter. You see this black gear on the end of the trip meter is connected to all of the gears on the back, but it's decoupled from the trip meter numbers. And the reason that's true is because when you pull, when the solenoid pulls the reset mechanism down like that, it's also pulling down that little gear right there. And that little gear couples the black gear and the trip meter numbers. And it does it, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it does it by having this gear ride a little bit on that gear and a little bit on that gear that's on the side of this big black gear. And so it, it connects the two of them so that now going the wrong way, but now when you spin the odometer gear itself, the trip meter goes. And when you pull down on it, it not only sets it back to zero, but while it's setting it back to zero, there's no tension on the odometer gears. So the notion that resetting the trip meter is what causes this gear to break is pretty questionable because there's no extra tension anywhere. You pull down, it decouples it. That actually frees up the gear because now it just spins freely. And then when it goes back in place, it picks up that white gear. And so it starts turning the white gear, but that gear has to weigh maybe two grams or a milligram or something. I mean, it's just an infinitesimally light load to add back to the gear set. See if you can see it this way. So I think the reality is these gears, in particular the ones from the factory that were made in that amber color, kind of translucent amber color, that material just doesn't last. If the gear breaks because those two, the black gear and the white gear are being recoupled, then the gear was going to break anyway. I mean, even a pothole would have done it. And that's everyone's experience. When you take these things apart, you know, more 10 times out of 10, they crumble. You know, you can't even get them off without them, you know, breaking into 10 little pieces. So I think the notion that hitting the reset while you're running causes that gear to break is just a myth. You might be asking yourself why Porsche made that one gear in that weird material that falls apart. 
And my best theory is they did it to make that gear softer so it would absorb impact so that it didn't make this noise. You can hear it kind of clicking away. That noise is coming from this worm gear. So you can see how the worm gear drives the odometer gear and there's just more play inherently. And so that's what that ticking sound is you hear over here when the thing is running. Both my 3D printed gear and the, the nylon ones that come from odometertogears.com, they both make essentially the same sound. And I bet if you had an original amber colored gear in good shape, it would be quieter than that. But I think it's completely irrelevant inside a 944 because unless you've got the quietest 944 on earth, you're never going to hear that. It is possible when you reset the trip meter for the little gears to get hung up down there, right where it has a little pickup to move the tumbler to the left. So it goes around one time and then it moves this one notch. There's a little pickup down in there. And if it gets trapped on the wrong cog down there, then this can happen where it'll jump like that. And that little gear down there is essentially stripping against these gears. And in theory, that would add, you know, more pressure to the odometer gear and maybe, you know, be the straw that breaks the camel's back. But that's happening way down here. And it has to go through that gear, that gear, that gear and to get to this gear. Any one of these, you know, could break, but none of them do. And they don't break because this one is the one that breaks because it's made of that weird material that just doesn't hold up over time. So I think when you reset it, you know, it goes back to working normal. I think that the, uh, the notion that the reset itself causes those gears to strip is just not true. It, um, it might be the straw that breaks the camel's back under certain circumstances, but it's not going to break resetting the trip meter if the gear is in good shape. None of these break ever. This one breaks because it gets soft and it falls apart. That's my story and I'm sticking to it.